What's up, Odoers? Nathan here. At Stealthy Wood, we want to ensure we offer our customers the full suite of support. However, we also need to make sure we keep ourselves profitable. Luckily, with just a few steps, our help desk application will track how much time my employees spend on their tickets and even let me bill back time to the customer. So let's dive into the Stealthy Wood database to get started. First, let's turn on my help desk team's timesheets and time billing settings. For that, I'll go to configuration, select help desk teams, and from here, I'm gonna select my customer care team. From here, all we have to do is scroll down to the track and bill time section. As you can see, there are two options which I've already enabled. Timesheets, which allows us to track the time spent on tickets and time billing, which allows us to bill that time back to our customers. I'm also able to select a project when I enable the timesheets option. This is where the timesheets for this team will be stored. Now that we have those settings in place, let's see how this works by following a ticket from creation to billing. First, we'll need a service product for this task. I've already created one, so let's take a look at that in closer details. First, we'll select products, and then products once again. And first, we're gonna take a look at our customer care prepaid product. The product type is set for service, and for the create on order, we have task selected. This means whenever we sell this product, a new task is created in the customer care project. Next, in the invoicing policy section, we have prepaid slash fixed price. This allows me to invoice my customer before the service has been completed, which means we'll be paid upfront for our services. Obviously, there are other fields here that we can customize, but those will be enough for now. With that in place, we can create an order with our new service product. So I'll head over to the sales dashboard and create a new order. And I'll do that by selecting orders at the top and then orders once again, and then clicking new in the upper left-hand corner. I'll add my customer Azure interior and the product we created, customer care prepaid hours. And they wanted five hours of my support from my customer care team. So in the quantity section, I'm just gonna type five. And then from here, all I have to do is click confirm and then we can create the invoice right off the bat and just select Create Draft. Once we register payment from Azure Interior, we can start delivering the hours of support. Let's go back to the sales order by clicking the Sales Order Smart button at the top. And as you can see, I have some new smart buttons at the top of the sales order, showing that a task has been created as well in the same project. So let's go ahead and click on the task smart button. And this is where we can see my new task and the project that it linked. We can track hours, but we can also track them on the help desk ticket. Speaking of, let's head over to the help desk application and click on tickets in our customer care card to see the created ticket for these services. Then I'll click new to make a new ticket. And then let's title this ticket repair services. Add the customer Azure interior. And let's also take a closer look at this ticket by clicking edit. And as you can see, once the customer name has been entered, we can also see the sales order item field has automatically created the order that we just placed. To connect the ticket to the sales order, just enter the sales order item here. Now that we're linked, I can tell my team to get started on this task. I'll assign myself to this task as well. And when I'm ready, I can add my time to the timesheets tab on the task by clicking the timesheets tab. Because we linked the sales order, we can see in the bottom right corner how many hours were spent on this ticket. Right now it's zero, but we have five hours remaining from how many they purchased in the sales order. So let's go ahead and click add a line to add some hours. And we're gonna say we added four hours to this task. Once I have completed my work, I can mark this ticket as solved via the status bar here at the top. Then I can click the sales order smart button at the top and as you can see in the delivered column, it has been updated to reflect the hours that I have completed. 
So now that Azure has received the services that they paid for, what if we want to set up a time, but we're not sure how long it'll take? Well, let's try similar flow, but we won't charge the customer until after the work has been completed. Now, we'll need a different product for this flow because we're working with a different invoicing policy. So right here in the invoicing policy field, we can see this is now set to based off of timesheets instead of the prepaid fixed price. Still have it set to create a task in the correct project, which is customer care, just like before. Everything else looks good though, so I think we're ready to go. Let's head over to orders, and then orders once again, and I'll create a new order by clicking on new, and we're gonna add Azure Interior. This time with our new product, we're gonna add our billable by timesheets product. Then, just like before, I'll confirm this order. And now Odoo won't let me invoice this SO since there's nothing to invoice at this time. So let's pop over to the help desk application, click on tickets within customer care, and then we're gonna click on new and create a new task which will be new product issue. For the customer, we're gonna add Azure Interior, and then we're gonna click Edit once again. Now, when that customer name has been added, Odoo recognizes that there's more than one existing sales order to the customer. So let's go ahead and select the correct one. I'll assign myself to this ticket again, and then we're ready to go. Since this ticket was not created with a planned number of hours, I'm gonna track my time as I go. So I'll click the Time Sheets tab, and I'll enter my time as I complete the work. You can also add time from previous days, let's say if you forgot to enter it. Or you can add multiple entries in the same day, like what I'm about to do. So we'll do one hour, and we'll do another hour. Then once I'm done with work, I can move this ticket over to the solve stage once again. So now we know the job is done. Now I can head back to the sales order via the sales order smart button at the top of the screen and complete the invoicing process. Just like before, the delivered column has been added and updated with the appropriate number of hours I've logged in the timesheets. And now that the service has been completed, I can create an invoice. So I'll click on create invoice. We'll use the regular invoice option and click create draft. After confirming, I'll email this directly to my customer and they'll be able to pay me directly through the portal. How easy was that? So today we learned how to track the amount of time your employees are spending on tickets and how to build time back to your customers. These features are a great addition to any help desk team and are a helpful way to keep your company profitable while maintaining the high level of service your customers deserve. Thanks for watching and remember, so do and not oh don't.